everyone, it's Jen from You So Much, and I have to admit I'm a little bit shy today because we're going to be talking about something a little different than I normally talk about. We're going to be talking about boobs. Kind of. Sort of. Because what we're going to be doing is so we're going to be talking about how to make your headlines irresistible, and I'm going to be comparing it to a sports illustrated swimsuit cover. Point is, is your headlines should be as irresistible as boobs. So one of the things that people don't always realize about a headline is that the job of the headline is to get them to read the next line. It's not to get them to convert yet. It's not to get them to sell anything yet. It's just to get them to read the next line, which means you cannot take your eyes away. You cannot because you just can't resist it. Look at the elements of this cover and test your headlines against the same things that make this so irresistible. So the first thing to ask yourself about your headline is, does it catch my attention? Does it really grab me? Obviously this picture is grabbing your attention, right? Now there are a few ways to make sure you're catching their attention. Some of them are going to be similar to this picture. And the first thing is to speak to those basic needs that everyone has. So for example, we all want to feel good. We all want things to be easy. Now I don't think I have to explain to you what the basic needs are in this picture that are really appealing to you. So think about those basic needs that everyone has, that everyone loves. You're speaking to sort of the lizard brain, so to speak. Now here's a classic example of a headline that really appeals to that universal need, and this is done by Victor Schwab, a famous copywriter. The secret of making people like you. The second thing you can do is you can use really interesting language. So things that really stand out to you that seem a little different. And the other thing about that is you can also use things that are sort of a contrast, things you almost don't expect or are sort of against social norms. So if you look at this picture, she has this amazing sort of everyday all-American look in this super provocative pose. So to me, this is speaking to both of those things, the basic needs and also something that's a little different and provocative. Now getting their attention is great, but remember the goal is to get them to read the very next line. So it's important that you not just get their attention, but that you inspire curiosity in them. And this picture does that beautifully. As you can see, she's covering up her boobs here and it makes you ask the question, how can I see more? I want to see more. What's under there? Where's her top? What does it look like? Right? And so when you inspire curiosity in somebody, you're leaving a question in their mind. And so so just like in this picture, you want to do that with your headlines. You want to tease them with their fantasy. You want to make them ask, oh my gosh, how is that possible? Where did that happen? How can I get that, right? Now can you imagine this same cover without everything else here that inspires curiosity? I mean, if, if it was just a set of boobs and nothing else, it might get your attention, but it's not going to inspire curiosity in the same way. Her smile, the way she's covering up her boobs, her pose, there's so many things about this picture that inspire curiosity in you. And your headlines need to do that too, so it teases them, it leads them to the next line. Here's an example of a classic headline that does a great job of leaving that question in your mind. Thousands have this priceless gift, but never discover it. Do you see how that really leaves that question of your mind is like, who has this gift and do I have a gift like that? And what are they talking about? And another great way to inspire curiosity is to tell part of a story. So you're sort of teasing them again, teasing them with a story and they want to know more about that story. And this picture obviously does that too. Now the next question to ask yourself about your headline is, does my client know that I'm talking directly to them? Do they know this is for them? Now it's obvious that Sports Illustrated swimsuit issues are mainly for men, right? The whole entire year is for men. It's targeted at men. If you looked at their media kit, you'd probably read about how many male readers that they have between the ages of whatever, 20 and 30, right? So, but the point is, is that you need to know exactly who you're talking to. And a couple of ways you can really do that, besides using a provocative picture like this, is to um, really just call them out. You can say who they are right there in the headlines. If you're talking to a guy, you can say that. Hey guys, what's up? Or if you're talking to moms, hey moms, this is what's going on. This is how I can help you. So just calling them out in the headline is a great way to do it. So here's a great example by a copywriter, David Ogilvy, who is a well-known copywriter from the advertising industry, how women over 35 can look younger. 
Now, obviously, this headline is geared towards women over 35, right? He's calling him out right there in the headline. The other way to really make them feel like you're talking directly to them is to use the words that they use. I've talked about this a lot, and it's a really great way to make sure that they feel heard and like they know that you understand them. And one last thing is to use brands or celebrity or groups of people that they relate with. And that's another really great way to make them feel understood. And Sports Illustrated is excellent at that. Not just the swimsuit issue, but all of their issues do that really, really well. Now, the last thing to ask yourself is, does this allure them with their fantasy? Their fantasies are really what they're buying. They're buying the person they want to be and the life that they want to lead. And you need to do that with your headline. Again, if it was just a picture of boobs or just a picture of her, like in a white room, it would not have the same effect as it has. It's telling a story. It's painting the picture of a fantasy. You can use that with descriptive words, and you can also do that with the feeling that you want to convey. Ask yourself, what feeling do you want them to have? And remember, we all want to feel good, sexy, attractive. So think about what feelings do your clients get once they use your product? And you can convey that in the headline. Now, here's one of the most famous headlines of all time. It was written by John Caples. They laughed when I sat down at the piano, but when I started to play... It really shows that fantasy of being able to play the piano beautifully when nobody ever thought you could. Now, one of the things that I always do is I write out 10, 15, even 20 headlines sometimes, because when you do that, you sometimes will fine tune the headline and find new ideas and combinations. And basically you end up coming up with the best headline possible. So I highly suggest that you write out as many headlines as you can and then put those to the test. Ask yourself, does it get their attention? Does it get them to be more curious so they can't resist reading more? Does it speak to them? Do they know it's exactly aimed towards them? And does it allure them with their fantasy? Now to help you out even more, I have created a cheat sheet for you so that you can put your headlines to the test. It has all four of these questions on there with all the tips and tricks and a few examples so you get a really good idea of how to make your headlines irresistible. And if you have any of your own ideas of how to make a headline really irresistible, I'd love to hear from you. Leave in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to write down your own fantasies because words make it real.